statewide forecast with meteorologist Pat Walker. Well, welcome back to Arkansas today, everybody. Things are looking much better here for us in the middle of the day. As far as rain chances go, they're really ramping up for Little Rock, ramping up right now for Fort Smith, all throughout West Arkansas from man, Hot Springs to Mena. It's been raining a good bit this morning. I'm going to show you the rainfall totals in just a second, but got the rainfall now moving into Fort Smith. It's actually through Fort Smith and moving into Van Buren now across the river in southern Crawford County. And that's going to keep kind of inching northward. You can see all the way down through the parts of the River Valley, almost down to Russellville, that rainfall is. And you can see here some spotty showers kind of popping up in northern Washington County, lifting northward into Benton County. The same thing into Madison and, and into uh, into the Carroll County, Searcy County, maybe soon into Boone County too. So some of these showers and thunderstorms kind of popping up. Most of this is rainfall. There occasionally are some rumbles of thunder. No real threat of severe weather with any of these as for right now. But some very heavy rainfall. After some heavy rain this morning in Sevier County, it looks like more heavy rainfall is moving in around Dequeen right Right now, some good showers in northern parts of uh, Hempstead County. But that light rainfall, it's been kind of steady several hours, about three hours or more, almost four hours in Hot Springs. Now moving in through Saline County, filling up Saline County and moving into Pulaski County too. In fact, let's just look a little bit closer. Little Rock seeing some showers north of the river, but nothing in downtown Little Rock. Some rainfall around Pine Bluff and across north Arkansas. Some widely scattered showers and yes, some thunderstorms, some thunderstorms around Heber Springs in Cleburne County, Southern Independence County, even moving up to Batesville around Southside. A few showers and thunderstorms right there kind of stretching all the way back down to just north of Augusta and Woodruff County. Now, Hot Springs has seen 0.15 inches rainfall today. De Queen, though, almost an inch, 0.71. It's just western portion, the Washita's, which has really seen the bulk of the rainfall today. And temperatures are cooler there, mid to lower 70s. It's just 70 degrees in Mena. Vanville's 81. And you know, here in North Arkansas, we're in the mid to upper 80s. That's where we're seeing those thunderstorms developing. We've had more sunshine. We've had warmer temps. So that part of the state's a little more unstable. Therefore, we see those thunderstorms developing. It feels like it's in the 90s in North Arkansas, but feels like lower 80s for Little Rock and upper 80s in South Arkansas, except El Dorado with a heat index of 92 right now. Look at this air. That is juicy, warm, muggy air. These dew points kind of all sitting in the 70s, and that means we're generally in this very humid to almost oppressive range as far as that humidity goes. So we have this wave coming up. This is all associated with this upper level low that's been in the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle. We do have a stationary front kind of across the eastern part of the state. It's really not affecting us much anymore. It's this energy. It comes on the southern side in the southwesterly flow from that low that's bringing these little impulse, impulses first to the western half of the state. So that's where our rain chances will be highest today and tonight, especially tonight, I think, overnight hours. We could see some very heavy rainfall in northwest Arkansas. It might even be a flash flooding potential overnight for northwestern, then maybe moving more to north central Arkansas in the dawn hours for Tuesday. And then more scattered rainfall throughout the day. Best chances tomorrow in northwest Arkansas. We're eventually going to have this cold front kind of move through Missouri, and that may give us a, a glancing blow of a cold front in north Arkansas. But generally, we're going to go to the rest of the week with that low kind of moving across the plains and the Midwest, and that's going to keep those rain chances high. In fact, I really think Wednesday is probably going to be the wettest day here of the week. This afternoon, temperatures will probably stay in the 70s in west Arkansas, mid to upper 80s for central into south Arkansas, maybe even north Arkansas might cool down a little bit locally when we see a couple of those thunderstorms move through. That's your statewide forecast. Now, here's your local forecast.